Hey! Roger! Oh, Rocket Chick! Roger! Hello there! I have good news and I have bad news. Uh, the good news is that the strike is over, just like people were predicting it was going to end soon. Tomorrow's Friday, first day of the month, July. And, uh, I, well, I'll just read from the, what I consider one of the most trusted magazines or newspaper, online newspaper here, El Universal. Uh, the headline for the day is government will lower five cents more to diesel to the extra and to the Esculpius, Esculpius, I think that's how you pronounce that, and the indigenous movement agrees to end the national strike. So when I click on that link, it says with the mediation of the Ecuadorian Episcopal Conference, the government of Guillermo Lasso and the indigenous movement reached agreements on June 30 to end the national strike that lasted more than two weeks in this country. The regime agreed to lower five cents more to the price of gasoline, or to the price of gallon, of the gallon of extra gasoline in equal country, and to the gallon of diesel, which, with which, in both cases, they were received by 15, they were reduced by 15 cents, counting the 10 it had ordered days ago. So, with this, gasoline will, will remain at 2.40 a gallon and the dollar 75 the diesel. In addition, work will be done on policies to target fuel subsidies. There's a lot more to read. As you can see from the description, there I put a link in there for all these newspapers. Get on there and read them, you know. I feel good about this. I feel that it's safe to travel here now. Everybody's going home. Food will return to the shelves. More importantly, beer and wine will be back where it belongs, in my kitchen. So, the bad news is I woke up this morning with a horrendously swollen lip. This is the third time this has happened to me since I came here. I gotta tell you folks, when you come to another country, you can expect all kinds of things to happen to you in terms of medical maladies I went to an hour just this morning, and he we did a blood draw. Tomorrow I go back. He gave me a shot for allergy. This morning, it was so swollen that it looked like it was about to explode. There was something here that I'm allergic to. So because of that, I had to postpone the interview with Stella Coulter this morning. Stella was gracious enough to actually go with me to the doctor and help me because he didn't speak any English. and and she helped me with uh, communicating with this hour of this. I uh, thank you for that, Stella. I appreciate it. Something she didn't have to do, but she did it out of the kindness of her heart. Stella is another example of the generosity of the Ecuadorian people. They'll go out of their way to help you when you need help. Book your flights, get on the airplanes, get your ass down here, and meet me for breakfast and coffee. I'll be happy to see you. It'll be my pleasure to actually meet you. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. That's it for today. This is my last update. Thank God I'm going to get back to my normal schedule and programming to bring you some good quality content. So I will do the interview with Stella as soon as we work it out in our schedule again. Have a great day. I love every one of you guys. Thank you for being my subscriber, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, ciao, ciao.